This could do with mending. It could do with binning. Ah, it's only a little hole. Ma well, used to do her darning on a Friday night. More fool her. Darning's a forgotten art. As far as I'm concerned, it can stay that way. Go get yourself a new pair. Oh, I haven't got time to change them now. I promised Dandy I'd be up at the farm at first light. Got the ewes to get ready for lambing. Hey, life's just one big bundle of laughs, isn't it? <laughs> Does your father ever buy new clothes? Not since I was born. I don't get it. It's not as if we hard up or anything. What's the principle? Dad believes clothes should be built to last. He's got shirts his mother must have bought ration coupons. <sighs> well, you better get used to it. No chance. Anything worn, torn or tattered is going straight in the jumble sale. Well, they won't like that. By the time he finds out, it'll be too late. On CBC, we'll be right back. Good morning. Um, just come to pay my stable rent. Thanks. Any chance of a cuppa while I'm here? It's cold. But I could always make another pot. We better be starting work. <laughs> no problem. There is. Could you tell your boyfriend to move his car? I need to get the tractor out. Uh, he's just leaving. I'm just going to go and take buttons for a ride. Then he's going to pick me up later. All right. Bye, Jack. You're a bit short with her. <sighs> well, she wants to stable her horses there. She's got to realise that farm work comes first. Well, she's a pretty girl, though. I was your age and single, I think I might have used a bit more charm. I ain't got time for that. Got work today. So, are you going to tell Jack about clearing out half his wardrobe? No. Don't well, you think he might notice? Not Jack. He doesn't choose what to wear, he just rummages around till something falls off a hanger. <laughs> <laughs> ain't it up on the grass birch? I'll have to have a word with young Jimmy. It's not point. Them kings think they're on the roads. Yeah, well, it's time they learn better. Two pints, please, Chaz. Coming up. Dan, you haven't seen my brown jacket, have you? Not recently. <laughs> Thought you might have taken it to the cleaners. That's not worth it. It's far too old. Yeah, it's good quality cloth, that is. Lasts for years. I'll get another one like it. Maybe worth trying the jumble sale. I've heard they've got some real bargains. Don't be silly, Val. Jack hasn't got time for that. Thank you. Um, what's Diane up to? See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. That's me. Have you heard about what Diane's been up to? No way. Well, let's just say it's a bad day for moths. He's picked Ashley's too. Oh, hey, you spotted it. Oi, oh, hey. find something to distract him. This is my jacket. Oi, I saw it first. How much? Pound. You must be joking. Too right. Quality tailoring, that is. <laughs> Might have been when the Luftwaffe were flying. Looks like it's been bombed a few times. I'll give you 20p for it. 50p and that's my last offer. All right, throw that junk in as well then. How could you do that? Oh, Jack, I've been nagging you for months to get rid of your old stuff. <laughs> I'm not saying you're mean, but sometimes you can be a bit too careful. You can afford some new clothes. That tweed jacket would have lasted years yet. You should have asked first. You stay out of this. Hey, what do you think of my new togs, Chaz? I'll give Andy a call. <coughs> It'll scare the crows more than anything he's got. Yeah, well, maybe they were a bit past their best. What do you think?